Hey guys, so it's Saturday. It's a nice sunny day. Something's hurting me. I'm waiting on an Uber, which seems like it's here already. Hold on. Yeah, 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 hold on. <laughs> Before the Uber leaves and then I have to pay two dollars let me see where it's at you say it wasn't here it's like 51 degrees but i still have my jacket on just because the temperature might change it normally does so yeah where is this uber i'm ready to go 48 hours later it is monday april 23rd and for some reason i'm in such a good mood at <laughs> 6 50 a.m i'm not sure why but i like when i wake up and i'm in a good mood so that is pretty awesome um i'm gonna wash my face brush my teeth get out of my pajamas and get like some coffee or something because i feel like i need a strong cup of coffee this morning which is awesome um I went to church yesterday and that was so nice, but I wasn't in the mood to like vlog any of it or afterwards, you know? I went to church, I felt blessed when I left, which was amazing. It's, it's one of the best feelings to go to church and then feel blessed when you leave. And for weeks now, I've been wanting to go because I wanna start paying my tithes and stuff like that. So I went, I liked the church. The only thing is, and I feel like this is probably a problem in black churches or in churches with black people. It never, they could tell you they're starting at this time. Just know you go a half an hour or, or an hour later because they never start on time. So I was there from 11 and they started at like 11.30 and they were supposed to end at 1.30 and it ended at 2 o'clock and I was so bummed out. So I'm just like... The next time I'm going, I'm gonna go like an hour later, even though I probably do that and that's the day where they decide to start and end on time. So it's just like, you never know. But um, I was bummed out because I kind of planned my whole day out and then, cause I'm a planner, I will plan my whole week out and you know, if something throws it off, then I feel like it throws the whole thing off. So because I planned the day out and then that kind of pushed it back a little bit. I was just like, oh, but I have this planned, but I still managed to get what I had to do done afterwards, which is amazing. And um, so now I'm less, I'm less worried about some stuff. What I needed to get my daughter some dresses for church and a phone because my mom said she dropped her phone and broke it so i bought her an iphone 5s and i got a tempered glass and a really protective case and i called her and i'm like listen make sure you do not break this one this cost me money and i need you to start taking care of the things that i bought you and i feel like it's okay to tell her that because it's teaching her to be responsible which i want her to be and she's eight so nothing's wrong for her to start learning how to be responsible from now because it starts from early. So she understood we had an agreement and that's amazing. I'm going to see how that works and if she follows through or anything. But, you know, I made sure that it's nice and protected before I gave it to her. That way it's easier for her to maintain it or whatever. I don't know if that makes any sense. But yeah, anyways, it's Monday morning. I'm here. I'm gonna go do all I said I was gonna do earlier and then come back. So guys, the other day I went to my nail tech and um, cause my nails needed to be refilled. So I went there and Jesus Christ, I didn't leave until like late just because I went there. Even though I called before I went, I was like, you know, can I come today? And she's like, yeah, you have to get here now. First of all, I had the wrong address in my phone. And then on top of that, I, I thought I like had the stops figured out and it ended up happening that I didn't have the stops figured out. So I stopped off of the bus and I was like 25 minutes walk away from the store. So I had to take an Uber. And then when I took the Uber, because I had the wrong address, the Uber went to the wrong place. And then the guy was nice enough to like 
say, okay, call and find out the address and I'll still take you there. So I tipped him like $5 because that was really nice. I don't normally tip them to be honest because I just don't. Um, so he was really nice. So I tipped him and I found out the address and I got there and I still ended up having to wait. When I got there, three persons were there. Refills normally um, take a shorter time than like a fresh set as I explained before but people were already there so I had to like wait for so long. A few weeks ago she said she was going to start doing appointments. I cannot wait for her to start doing appointments because I feel like look everybody's going to have a time where they know this is your time, this is the time you have to come by which means I'm going to get a time also and I'm not a tardy person so I know I'm going to be early for my appointments which would mean that I probably won't have to wait this long again because then when it's appointments, it's just more organized and everybody knows their time and comes for their time. If you miss your appointment time, you know that another person is in the time because you missed it and you have to like reschedule your whole appointment because that's just how it works when you go to the doctor's office. If you miss your appointment, you have to get a new one. So I, I just cannot wait for that to kick in or for her to actually start it because that's going to make it more organized and that way I don't have to go there and wait for so long. But I'm so pleased with um, how she does my nails. They look really nice and I like to be pleased with a particular service. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at my Mac and I have the video to edit of how I... um of when I was bleaching my hair. It's a hot ass mess because it was not done professionally and it shows in how I was doing it. So look out for that video. It's gonna go up at some point. I'm not sure when, because honestly, it's not even edited yet. And today, this was like a week ago. It's been a week since I've done it and I still haven't gotten to it yet because my days are busy and I just have some stuff to do sometimes and I just don't get to it. So I'm going to have to figure that out later. I'm going to have to, um, I bought some stuff for orchids. So I'm going to have to figure those out later. I have to label them because all the girls are different ages. And, you know, you can't depend on men to figure these things out because they just don't know. And, I mean, I did separate them in the suitcase, but I guess that's not good enough. I'm going to have to go and, like, label them. I'm going to have to put... Last night I found a tape I was looking for for a very long while, so I'm going to have to, like, um, I feel like I'm going to roll them all together. You know how when you're packing your suitcase, you, you roll the clothes because it takes up less space? So I'm going to roll them all together and I think tape them and then label the tape because that's what I did for Dijanay's phone last night. Or I'm going to have to, but you can't even put them in bags because they check your bags when you go. So probably going to have to like roll them and tape them. It's always such a dry. Oh my gosh. There are these little bags. You know, these tiny bags that when you're traveling, you pack stuff in separately. I don't remember what they're called, but as I'm talking about it now, I'm going to go on Amazon right now and try to find some of those because those are going to make life so much easier. Yeah, there, because I could just put everybody's stuff in those bags and then label the bag itself. Smart idea. And the bags are like mesh, so um, customs or whoever's searching the suitcases will be able to like see through the bag that it's like clothes in there. So yeah, okay, got to go this time for real. So for lunch, I'm having a smoked turkey breast sandwich with a banana. And for some reason, I feel like this banana is not ready <laughs> but i'm gonna eat it anyways because i need a banana and i'm gonna drink some water i'm in such an odd mood today like i feel so off i mean i i know why but it's just like oh i need to get out of this funk right now i'm so annoyed so we had a nice little play date today um <laughs> the baby was so nice um i'm headed home <laughs> I did not vlog a lot today, even though I was trying, I got so busy at one point, I could not even feel my legs. I'm going home, it's five, probably six o'clock at this point. 
going home. Hi, so you're gonna be seeing this face pretty often on days where I have forgotten to end the vlog. So the vlog that you're watching now, I clearly forgot to end it. Anyways, I'm ending it now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I don't forget to end another one.